Apple Color is an amazing color correction program that allows you to do some amazing things. For example, I can easily isolate multiple colors within a video frame and change their color values. To create this effect, you can send a clip or an entire sequence directly to Apple Color. In this example, I'm going to right click on my sequence and choose Send to Color. Give the color project a name and press OK. After Apple Color launches, click on the Setup tab. You'll see a list of all the clips contained within your sequence. Double click on the clip that you'd like to color correct. Then click on the Secondaries tab. The Secondaries controls allow you to isolate a particular color without affecting other colors. Click on the eyedropper next to the HSL qualifier. Now click on a color you want to isolate within the preview display. This automatically activates the desaturated preview mode option. Go back and adjust these HSL qualifiers until you've isolated the color of your choice. You may find it necessary to turn off the saturation or luminance parameter in order to select the color range necessary. I've also found that it helps if you soften your mat a bit. To do this, click on the Mat Only Preview button. Then click within the key blur parameter. Hold down the option key and roll the mouse wheel up until you've got a decent looking mat. Holding down the option key makes the values move a bit faster. Then click back onto the final image preview mode button. Within the secondary color balance controls you can now change the isolated color. I recommend starting with the midtones and then adjusting the shadows or highlights if needed. If you need a richer color, you can adjust the master gain downward a bit. If you want to change an additional color, you have eight secondary color banks. Click on another bank and repeat the same process again. When you're done, to send the corrections back to Final Cut Pro, Make sure the clip is selected within the timeline window. Then use the keyboard shortcut Command 8 to bring forward the render queue. Now press the Add Selected button. Then press the Start Render button. Next, navigate to the File menu and choose Send to Final Cut Pro. If you get the message that all your clips are not rendered, it's OK, because Final Cut Pro will still link to the original media that hasn't been rendered within Apple Color. When you're back within Final Cut Pro, look for a new sequence that shows it's from Apple Color. Double click on the sequence from Apple Color, and you can now watch your changes. OK, that's it. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro or Apple Color training course, visit GeniusDV.com.